So I've already changed the name of the company to Chapter 6 Reconciliations Case 0 and then my name. And now I'm going to open up the Open Windows list and the home page. I like to maximize the home page. And if you see these little windows up there, you can close them. So our next task is to add the following accounts to the chart of accounts list. So chart of accounts is right here. And I need to add an account. So I'm going to go down here to account and then new. And the first account is a bank account. Click continue. It is account 1050, tab to account name, and it's cash money market. So money market is kind of like a savings account, usually with a higher rate of interest. So it looks like the company is going to have like a type of savings account for the business. I'm going to click save a new because I have other types of accounts to add. Next one is number oh, credit card. Got to make it a credit card. So it looks like the company's going to get a credit card. So it is account 2015, tab to the account name. It's the American Travel Card. So it sounds like they're getting a credit card that gives them um, probably miles as a reward, but they can use the credit card for any type of purchase they want. I got another one to add, so I'll click Save and New. Next one is an expense. Tab over the number, account number is 6100 and it's bank service charges. Now what's going to happen is we're going to start doing bank reconciliations in this assignment and a bank reconciliation just means you're going to take the bank statement and compare the accounts, or excuse me, compare the transactions of the bank statement to the transactions in your books, figure out what the differences, the differences are, and then reconcile them. That's why they call it a reconciliation. And one of the things that's going to appear on a lot of um, bank statements that we have not yet entered into our accounting records is the monthly service charge. So we're going to call that a bank service charge, which is a type of expense. We need to add a new expense, so we click Save and New. And the number is 6475. It is a travel expense. Sounds like Kristen Reyna is going to start traveling on business. And we got one more, so click Save and New. And this type is an other income. Now remember, for QuickBooks, income just means revenue. So this is an other revenue. So what does other mean? It means minor. So it's going to put it at the very bottom of the profit and loss statement. The account number is 6900. And the account name is interest income. So when we get our bank statement, some of our uh, bank accounts might give us a little bit of interest. And so we need an other income account to record that under. Save and close. You should notice now at the very bottom of the chart of accounts, we have account 6900 interest income. The type of account is over here, other income. So notice at the bottom, the very bottom of our chart of accounts, they have other income and other expense. That's because those are considered minor sources of revenue and minor sources of expenses. And if we scroll up, we should be able to see our new money market account. And it is a bank account, which is why it's at the, listed at the top. It has a balance of zero. And our bank service charges, or let's see, our credit card should also be on here. Our American travel, travel card is a credit card. So notice it's in our liability section. And then scrolling down, I should see account 6475. Here is the travel expense that uh, account that we added, and then we added one more, wasn't it? Let's see here, 6100 bank service charges. Right here, here's our bank service charge. So now that we've got these added, we can start transferring money between different accounts, and we can do some bank reconciliations and some credit card transactions.